Hello and welcome to part two of the video on SCAL Create, Color, and Convert. This is where we left off yesterday. We created this flower. Uh, we took a picture of it using screen capture so that you would have a colored picture of it uh, to use to share the picture, add to an email, or just to keep track of what colors you like. Today we're going to take this image and we're going to convert it to an SVG file that will give you broader sharing range and also give you more opportunities to edit should you choose to do that. So what we're going to do first is just pull this apart so that we have the pieces all separated. They work better that way. Then we're going to go to view outline because we don't need the color it just gets in the way for this. Going to do a screen capture just like we did yesterday. There it goes you can hear it uh, saving to my desktop. Now we want to go to the image tab and we're going to browse and look for that file on my messy desktop. And that's going to be the screen capture right there. Oh, and it is. There it is. So we're going to cut the brightness. Yours probably says 50. You wanted it 49. Uh, leave, optimize, and save. Give it a new name. I'm going to call it ink pick flower and I have to add the SVG on my Macintosh I don't know why I do but I do you may not have to uh, try it see what happens and I'm going to save since I already had it there I replaced it uh, this is not the same one we used yesterday if you remember so we say okay there it is it's come in nice and clean and so now we're finished with Sure Cuts a Lot. So I'm going to hide Sure Cuts a Lot. And here's Inkscape. And I'm going to file and open the Inkscape file. It's also on my desktop, the one we just did. And it's called Ink Flower. Ink Pick Flower. SUV, that's this one. And there it is. I'll just close this one. Alright, now we've got this image. This is the... This would be like bringing a JPEG image into Inkscape, except it's already been traced. And so we ha if I select it, we've got a group of three objects. Well, we can't work with groups and do things to them, so I'm going to go Object and Ungroup it. Now I have three individual paths, files. Now, ordinarily, you could just go and select and fill, but it doesn't work because there are really two images there. You can't see them, but I know they're there having done this a lot. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to borrow the trick from my friend Kay uh, called her paint bucket uh, technique. I'll leave uh, a link to this, uh, her blog, on my, on my blog. So you select the paint bucket. Kay says always reset the tool by pressing the paintbrush so I'm just going to click in there I'm going to click in there and I'm going to click in here and like magic there's my image all traced all three of them now the thing to notice is when this came in as the F SVG from Sure Cuts a Lot, 
It came in with 105 nodes. And we all know that nodes make for jaggies uh, in cutting and slow cutting. But if we go over to the one that we use the paintbrush on, we've got 36 nodes. That'll cut much nicer. The uh, circle has 31. This one had 5. So I've got them mixed up. So this one comes back over here. This one comes over here. And this one has 24. And that one has 70. So you can see we've got a much better image to work with doing it this way. So we'll get rid of these. So we're not going to use those. Bring these over. Color them just because. Just to prove I can, I guess. Then voila. Now because this is already an SVG file, you can just do a file save and you have a perfectly good SVG file that you can share uh, as you choose. That's it. Thank you very much for bring, being here. I'll have more information on my blog uh, at papasucreative.blogspot.com. Bye.